Hey guys, so I don't know if you remember but a while ago I asked on my Instagram if you have any video requests or tutorials you'd like me to do on my channel and I got quite a few so I'm slowly working through them but this is going to be one of them and basically what was asked is how I apply my primer and my foundation especially when your primer has a bit of a white undertone how do you apply it so that it doesn't leave your face looking white or taking away from the foundation shade and also how do I apply my foundation in order to get the right tone and finish um, because sometimes your foundation applies lighter or darker and what tools I use basically so yeah I'm gonna get into that right now and I'm gonna be talking a lot just to explain different things and how I do it so this is everything that I do and all of my tips that I've learned along the way um, and I hope you enjoy this video also um, I have just braided my hair and it came out wavy and I am loving it but this side is not cooperating so I'm not sure how my hair looks right now but I'm gonna go with it and we're just gonna get into this video and let's go okay so this was actually the exact primer that was part of the request because this primer has SPF 25 in so it has a bit of a white undertone almost like a sunscreen type of effect so you wouldn't want to put too much of this on but for me when applying primer i applied in my t-zone since that's a very dry area of mine and then i also just put like a dot here and a dot here and i smear that um and i smear that in all over so it spreads out really well so this is the primer i'm going to be using And that is basically all I use because since it has that white undertone you can't apply too much because it's going to show through your foundation and it's going to take away from the shade of your foundation completely so that is how I do it and then next this wasn't part of the question but I'm just going to be using this oatmeal 2-in-1 blemish stick I basically use this every day um, it covers up really well and it's supposed to treat the blemishes as well so I haven't been using it that long I must have been using it for about just over a week now so I'll be doing a proper review of this if I see results so yeah we'll see Okay, so now we get to the very important part which is the foundation and one of the things that was asked was what do I use to apply my foundation and why one foundation sometimes gives you a different shade when you finish basically so I'm just gonna be talking about my personal experience so basically this silicone blender is perfect for saving product from my experience but um, I do find that sometimes the foundation applies a bit darker because it's applying so much product. This is just my experience, eh? Um, so I don't like to use this unless I'm maybe pouring the foundation out onto this and then getting into it. Secondly, I've used a beauty blender before. And in this case, it soaks up way too much product when you're applying it with a beauty blender. So it turned out a bit lighter for me or just not as good of a coverage as I would like. So I basically like to use this 
of the Avoplasma foundation just to blend everything in properly and make sure there's no harsh lines. And then thirdly, my foundation brush over here. Um, this is my favorite thing to apply product. Yes, it takes from the product and it can leave a bit of lines when applying foundation. But like I said, I prefer using this because it gives an even coverage and it doesn't use as much foundation as the silicone blender. It just gives you a nice airbrush finish. But then I also obviously go over it with a beauty blender. Um, so yeah, that's my experience with using different tools and getting a different result. So you basically need to find out what the result is that you want. Do you want to save a product and maybe get a bit of darker shade on your face? Which might not be the case, you might get the shade you want still, but you and you'll also save product. So maybe the silicone blend is for you, but in my experience, also if you're a beginner, I would just say maybe a brush is the easiest thing. This is a flat brush on top, and I got this brush from Makeup Boutique. Um, amazing brushes, eyeshadow brushes, foundation brushes, powder brushes, just everything's amazing. That's basically my experience of how I've gotten different shades and how I figured out which is the best tool for me. So if you experience either of those situations, um, then you'll know which one is for you basically. So I'm gonna apply my foundation now and I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD foundation. Guys, this foundation is just everything. Um, I did a blog post on this. I will leave the link down below if you want a descriptive review of me um, comparing this to the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. They are both two of my favorites. Um, but yeah, I love this foundation and I just bought it recently. Um, so yeah, I'm going to squeeze it out on the brush and apply dots all over my face basically. That is basically how I apply my foundation and my primer and just some useful tips for you guys and I hope you find this helpful. Um, another tip that I want to share just before I go is um, if your foundation is a bit dewy like this LA Girl one I, s I love so much but it is dewy on my skin and I do have oily skin so what I would suggest is maybe baking after you apply the foundation or apply a matching foundation powder over the foundation just to give it a bit of a matte look because as you can see it might, my skin looks a little bit oily in this areas now. If you have dry skin and you use a matte foundation or you just use any foundation but your skin is still dry, you can try using a primer that moisturizes underneath the foundation. Or you can use a setting spray over your foundation or use like a fixing spray um, and spray it on your foundation brush when applying your foundation. That should help with the dryness um, and also eliminating the matte effect a bit. So that's just if you have oily skin or dry skin, those are a few tips for you. So yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, whether you've been at this for a long time or whether you are just starting out with your own makeup and you found something useful out of this, please let me know. And also continue to send me your requests or things you'd like to see me do or help you with and I'd love to do them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share these tips with people you know who might need them or love them and yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye!